everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another top 5 drugstore product video and today's video is going to be on my top 5 um, drugstore eyeshadow palettes. Um, if you still want me to continue this series, sorry my cat's scratching her scratch post in the background, I feel like she's doing it on purpose. Anyways, if you still want me to continue this top 5 series, just let me know what you would like to see in the future, like blush, I haven't done blush foundation or even for high-end products with my top five high-end foundations and high-end palettes and all that jazz. Anyways just let me know in the comments and we'll just jump straight into this video. As always these palettes are in no particular order but the first one that I really 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 need to talk about are these Morphe palettes. Now Morphe palettes are like so good like literally for the price like one palette is around 15 pounds in the UK but if you buy it from America like for example I got the 35O palette from America so it came around to 40 pounds um, yeah it came around to 40 pounds including shipping and customs so it did come to an expensive palette in the end but that's just because I really wanted the 35 palette. If you do live in the UK and you want to grab a palette, they're £15 on Beauty Bay and Cult Beauty. It's just that this, the 3501 is really, really hard to get and it always goes out of stock and it's just in such high demand lately and no websites in the UK have them in stock. But this is what the 35-0 palette, and as you can see, this like this is like my palette. Like I feel like so many people are after those warm kind of tones for eyeshadows and this palette is just so amazing it just has like all these amazing like warm tones that I just feel so good looking at it it's just so pretty like I just I just I'm just obsessed and when I got it I was really really happy and the quality of the shadows from these palettes are just simply amazing they're just such good quality and very 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 pigmented um like for example I'll just swatch this dark brown shade like you can see that it just swatched straight away like they're so damn pigmented even like the shimmery shade so pretty oh my god that's just so pretty oh so yeah this is a 35 o palette it's one of my favorite favorite palettes and it's also affordable especially if you live in the us you can get your hands on it for the true price but if you live in the uk unfortunately it's a bit more pricey because of the shipping and customs which kind of sucks but yeah but and, uh, I do have another Morphe palette I want to get some more by the way because I don't think these are enough I just want all their palettes to be honest this is the Jaclyn Hill favourites palette it is limited edition but you can get all Morphe shadows individually and you can maybe like make your own Jaclyn Hill favourites palette because they have a, a magnet palette and you can just custom make your own eyeshadow palettes I haven't seen many of the individual shadows being sold in the UK but I know in America and Canada maybe you can get them individually so you can make your own palette but again this palette is gorgeous I just love it this whole palette <sighs> I just don't know what I just can't say enough about these but again another affordable palette um, they're just so affordable in my opinion and you get so many eyeshadows that are such great quality for like not expensive at all so yeah if you haven't tried them yet definitely give them a go because not only are they affordable they're amazing quality they last long on the eyes and there's just so many shades to choose from and that's the thing that i like about them they have such amazing shades as well so yeah the next palette that i want to talk about is this eye heart makeup palette and it's called makeup geek now these are not makeup geek eyeshadows obviously but um, the eyeshadow, it's, eyeshadow palette itself is called Makeup Geek and it's by I Heart Makeup. You can, oh sorry about the mirror, you can get this palette off um, Makeup Revolution or in Super Drugs. Um, I don't remember the price of this but I'll write in the info box but it is another affordable palette with, with a lot of shades. I've used this so much and dropped it so many times and some of them have broken off but some of these shades are just so amazing as well. Like. I feel like if you go to a lot of weddings and um, you wear very colourful outfits, I feel like this eyeshadow will be perfect for you because you can create such amazing looks with this palette. Like this pink one and this orange one. Let's swatch them. So as you can see, they're very, very pigmented again. I just think it's very good for like people who go out and wear very colourful, like for example, like Indian weddings. You wear really nice, colourful Indian um, dresses and outfits, so um, this palette would just be perfect for that. But 
all these like coppery brownie shades are all my my favorites and like this green shade I'm wearing today. Well, I did my eye makeup using this palette today, so I used the dark brown and the green shade. So easy to blend and they're very, very pigmented and I just love it. And also the mirror that comes with it is just such a good quality mirror for a drugstore palette. Yeah, it's just so easy, like so big, you can see your whole face. And yeah, I just really like it. I feel like with any eyeshadows, you always need a good um, eyeshadow primer underneath so that they last long and they don't crease, especially. What well, my favourite product to use on the eyeshadow is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer because it literally prevents creasing so, 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 so much. Like, my eyeshadow will not budge or crease throughout the day and I have really deep creases on my lid, so... It, my eyeshadow will crease very very easily but with the Urban Decay Naked one, Urban, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, it does not crease at all and I've really, I've literally just bought another one today because I've ran out for a while and I'm literally suffering without it because it's just the best concealer ever. So yeah, this is another favourite of mine and I actually did get this for free because I bought a bunch of stuff off Makeup Revolution. Um, on their website and they gave this to me for free so which was kind of cool but again it's still affordable the next drugstore palette that I want to talk about is a Makeup Revolution one so the, the actual Makeup Revolution brand um, and it's the um, Redemption Palette Essential Mattes Palette I used this in a recent tutorial but this eyeshadow palette is very affordable I think it's around £3 if I'm not mistaken but some of these eyeshadows are super, 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 super pigmented, especially like the brownie shades. I really like to use the pale ones to set my um, concealer on my eyelid so that everything else blends nicely on the um, eyes. Um, and this blue right here and this brown, they're just so pretty. I'm so crap at swatching. I don't know, I can't see, the camera's so far away so I literally can't even see what I'm doing right now but I hope you can see clearly. Like the blue is like a really muted blue. I mean it's kind of difficult for it to show up on my skin tone but you can't go wrong with the brown, like this is the brown. Like what the hell, it's so pigmented. I need a tissue now. The only thing that I would maybe say is the downside to this palette is the packaging. The packaging feels very flimsy and not strong at all. I don't know if it's because I've dropped it so many times, but I just feel like they should up their game a bit on the packaging. I don't know. It just feels very flimsy and all my Makeup Revolution products that I have break, like, easily. I'm kind of... Okay, I have to be honest. I, I do kind of get roughed with things at some, at some points, but... Like... It's only these palettes that break with me, so anyways. So yeah, the eyeshadows in this palette are really great, and you can get so many other ones. Like, they have such a huge range of palettes that you can choose from. This is the one that I really wanted to get, and I really love it if you just want an all matte look, and it's great for every day as well. And yeah, so if you haven't grabbed this, definitely try them out, because they're super affordable and easy to use. The next palette that I want to talk about is this Sleek palette, which again broke on me so I'm not going to include the mirror but this is what the palette actually looks like I've had this for so long literally but sleek packaging do have nice like the, the packaging is really nice to be honest for drugstore but this is what the palette looks like this is called the eye divine eyeshadow palette in oh so special now I put if you're like if you've been on my channel for a really long while now you would know that I've been using this quite a lot and I've included it in so many of my tutorials but this palette is just so pretty and the shadows are really pigmented as well. I believe this eyeshadow palette, well all the eyeshadow palettes are around £8 or £8.99 or I don't know, £8 to £10. Something like that, so it's at that drugstore price. And you get these little pretty like brownie shades and shimmery shades, I, I, just, I just love them. Like I really like to use this, this pink one in my crease and then use the brown one just underneath the pink and then use the shimmery colour on my lid and it's so pretty. I think I already have a makeup tutorial but it's super old. <laughs> I love this matte shade right here to set my concealer in and I, I don't really use a black shade to be honest but the, sh the colours in, in here are just really pretty. I'll swatch some for you. So those are the shades right there. So that's the purpley shimmery one and that's the brown one. Um, the, sh the matte ones are not as pigmented as the shimmery ones, but the shimmery ones feel very, very buttery, like the Morphe palettes. 
like the morphe shimmery shadows feel so buttery and they just glide on your eye um and i just feel and the um and the makeup week one like the shimmery shadows in here feel so velvety and like soft and i just love that in eyeshadows um, but yeah, this is another favourite of mine. And then the last and final drugstore palette that I want to talk about is this MUA one. Okay, so this palette is called the Romantic Efflorescence Palette. And what's kind of nice is that they have the individual shade names on the back, which I didn't know that to be honest. This is what the eyeshadow looks like. I feel like there's more neutral tones in here, um, like greys and things like that. I, I love this grey right here and this gold shimmery shade is just so, so, so pretty. Um, let me just swatch that one for you. I've got so many shadows on my hand right now. But that's just one swipe. That's so pretty. And this palette, I don't even know. I think it's three pounds or even cheaper. I don't know. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but I'll write everything in the info box. But it is very affordable, like the Makeup Revolution one. And you get 12 shades in here, which is not bad for the price. Um, and I just grabbed this one because it was just more appealing to me like I just love the shades in there and I wanted something different because most of my eyeshadow palettes are very very similar and yeah I just love this when I want a more neutral look to be honest and again they're very good quality for the price you pay for it pigmentation is amazing I would say it, it, they do need more like of a good primer to make them last longer on the eye which I think is the Urban Decay one my favourite one um, but whenever I use my Urban Decay one I have no issues with shadows and yeah, this is my last favourite um, drugstore palette. So that's the end of this video. I hope it wasn't too long and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know what you would like to see next in this top 5 drugstore series or if you would like to see a top 5 high-end product series, if that makes any sense. Um, and yeah, these are my current favourites, like throughout time I'll probably try more drugstore palettes and they'll probably become my, my favourite ones in the future i don't know but these are my current ones that i've been loving yeah so thank you so much for watching please hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy it and um yeah subscribe for more videos i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye dude dude <sighs> my top five favorite Today I'm going to put on my, well, yeah.